Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and your letter. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. <laughs> Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambrek. Went quietly, or so we're told. And she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. It can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be all right. I hope so. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. The Curse Breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Carl. Still alive, are you? Thought you knew better than to put stock in unfounded gossip. What with all the colourful tales attached to your name? Coin purse weighing you down. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Look, I said I'll go, and I will. Zoltan will have turned the old of Dravos against me. What do you want? Anything else? Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. You earned this. All done? Back all the stone and water I could find. Will this be enough? Yes, my lord. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and His Grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so, but I beg you, my lord, 
Do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. How was she? The Enterprise, I mean. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. D did you have a mo? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh, no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, let's just say, it gets very blimmin' hot. A, a heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge. That's for certain. Only mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? If it's for the good of the... Oh. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. Or fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell. Yeah, we're only three short, mind. And we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South, over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right, then. Wish me luck. It'll do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. Good girl. Time to fight.
we'll need to deal with these ones first. You deserve a rest. Come on. Yeah. Don't get surrounded. Straight home now. It. Right then, just two more to find. Ready, go. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Someone there! Please, I... I can't move my leg! That doesn't sound like an Akashic. With the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? <laughs> Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things. You slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. You seem familiar. Have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. Son of a whore! You're Sid! I was there! In Kostnis when you killed my brothers! I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander! My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will?! Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw, a murderer, not some man like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not going to kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. You will regret not killing me when you had a chance, Sid. I will avenge my master.
Come on. to the stables, girl. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Lord Rossfield. Is there aught the Undying might assist you with this day? Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Have you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Little unless I regret to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Indeed. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants of the fallen civilization, as if protecting the secrets concealed within. Secrets we'd see unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord, mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov. A small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but if you would consent to do so in my stead, I'm sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. All right. They will be most gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I will. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. A village built around an airship. Sounds like another lost wing. I hope the inhabitants are just as friendly. The greater number of our order live among the masses, hidden in plain sight. Even here in Tabor, our brothers and sisters pose as common folk. If any should reveal themselves to you, I beg you keep their true identity secret. You have my thanks. Without your medicines and your wisdom, Tabor would be but a shadow of itself. It is the least we can do in return for your generous hospitality, my lord. Thoughts like him always are. How are those new boots treating you? They're fantastic. You! 
Finally. No one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures, the most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs in my stead? You'll be amply rewarded, of course. Climb the stairs and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Uh, assuming you know your letters, that is. Some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about the village. The three of them, to be precise. One each to the north, south, and east. I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. Uh, people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember everything perfectly. Uh, remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Uh, make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. How are those new boots treated? History would be complete without mention of the Mother Crystals. must have settled here in Tabor. That mark. You must be Lord Rosfield. A pleasure. Golden Plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder. I should speak to the old scholar before I forget everything I've read. Careful how you pack that leather. Any creases or scratches. The engravings were in good repair considering their age. Oh, what that I could have seen them for myself. Oh, come. Don't tease me now. What did you learn of this? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south, shall we? Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor. Sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the Mother Crystals. But oh, whatever could have driven the Guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder? The engraving to the north is next, I think. Voyages of the Ashen 
ocean. Uh, seafarers? Here? Uh, are you certain? I'm growing less certain by the moment. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, or... I think that was it, at least. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs and Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the final stone. Children of the Hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so, we add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples, the final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings, one for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal, wanderers from across the plains, and last but certainly not least, hunters turned farmers. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reached down through three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars, given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. Ha! Too many by far. Here. Yeah, and thank you. Kicked out already? No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. Ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely... I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through! All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the Chief. Yeah, I promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? then. Much obliged. So this is Dravaged. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the Chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. 
He'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. But if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Mama? Damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before the Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> Yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers flames are next to bloody useless! We're never gonna be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals! I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss Oh, And if you're struggling to find your way out, that prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here, and neither are you. All right. I'm going. Please, Chief, you've got to do something. If this keeps up, we'll be ruined. told you to piss off. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravoshed. Sultan, the burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft, who we'll labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit, and divvy out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravoj in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravoj prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out, anyway. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. 
and you'd be throwing it away. All right, this place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravorst will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, man. fighting him yet. off my hands the better good girl yeah you deserve a rest let's make this quick shall we Ugh! <laughs> 
I dare say that would be enough for a decent set of bellows. Come on. Fly, Ambrosia. Thanks, girl. Love. 